cannot tell by now something is very wrong. This is a message to every man and woman in the military. If you are a high-ranking officer in the military and you're watching this, if you think for one minute that the New World Order will spare you after we are gone, you're wrong. You are a puppet and they don't care about you. They will kill you and your family after they are done using you. We are your family. We are your friends. We need you now to stand up. If you are a soldier, show this to your superiors. Stop being afraid. Whatever you are afraid of them doing to you now, they will eventually do to you soon enough. Please listen to me. I have a daughter. She just turned one. I don't want her to grow up in the world we now have, the one that was given to us. I can't sleep at night. I worry. If you knew the pain I'm going through, you wouldn't be sitting here reading this or listening to this. You'd be doing what I'm now asking you. But we cannot do this alone. You're the arm of the New World Order, the true power of America. You're the one thing that can stop all this and end this insanity. They already call you a terrorist and a threat. Our own troops. This shows you exactly what they think of you. We need you now more than ever. They are bringing in you and troops as we speak. What do you think those coffins are for a soldier? Those are FEMA coffins meant for your family while you are off fighting some pointless war. Now is the time for heroes to stand up. When you think about it, this is what has to happen. Everybody's asking, what do we do? What do I do? Well, here's what we do. This is it. If the military wake up and begin asking questions, and we stand by you, we can fix the problems we now find in our country. We need to pour our troops out of foreign soil. And we need to get the UN troops off of our own soil. I am not a coward. I will go alone if I have to. I'm not afraid of these people. I support my government when my government supports me. When men like JFK are in office. Not cowards like Bush and Clinton and Obama. We're all related in some way. Part of some sick secret society. Wake up people, we've been sold out. Our economy is shot. The world is in constant fear of war or at war. No one will be able to be armed. We will take all weapons. Every service member has an obligation, not just, not just that they, that they can refuse a uh, legal order or an unlawful order, they have an obligation to, they have to, and so they have to make a decision for themselves where that line is. Heroes are not born, they're forged. The same goes true with true leaders. Most everyone in power had to hand it to them. You think I'm wrong? The only way to win this is if we truly unite. It's time our leaders start acting like leaders and not like cowards. Never compromise the Constitution of the Bill of Rights. We will not lose our freedoms to tyrants of power out of fear and lies. We had Walmart deliver three trucks of water, trailer trucks of water. FEMA turned them back. They said we didn't need them. This was a week ago. We had a thousand gallons of diesel fuel on a Coast Guard vessel docked in my parish. The Coast Guard said, come get the fuel right away. When we got there with our trucks, they got a word. FEMA says, don't give you the fuel. 
yesterday, yesterday, FEMA comes in and cuts all of our emergency communication lines. They cut them without notice. Our sheriff, Harry Lee, goes back in, he reconnects the line, he posts armed guards on our line and says no one's getting near these lines. That's what we issued our declaration of 10 orders that we will not obey. And what those are designed to do is to get the troops thinking ahead of time. You don't want to think about the stuff that you're going to have to do if somebody pops around the corner. We shoot an American. Yeah. And what we're hearing is, is that it won't be the same way next time. But there'll be more who will say, no, I'm not going to do that. We will not surrender. We have the chance to turn things around. We must learn now from the past. Looking back 50 years ago, do you think that it's impossible to believe that the things that happened to the Jews in Germany could not happen here to us? We do not unite and fight this as, as a team. We will lose. Make no mistake about it. Their plans are for a global genocide unlike anything you've ever seen. We now have a window of opportunity to fight this and take back our country and take back the planet. We are fighting the most well-funded, well-organized group ever to set foot on Earth. Do not so easily be deceived. This isn't about me. This isn't about Alex Jones, David Icke, Ron Paul, or anybody else. This is about everybody. This is about unity because we will not win this alone. So remember that. The time has now come for us to unite. Godspeed. I know you're up. I can feel you now. I know that you're afraid. You're afraid of us. You're afraid of change. I don't know the future. I didn't come here to tell you how this is going to end. I came here to tell you how it's going to begin. And I'm going to show these people what you don't want them to see. I'm going to show them the world.